Welcome back for the next installment of my weekly NaNoWriMo updates. I also have my office kitty here. Very unhappy about being moved, but she's adorable and wants her attention. So if I'm distracted, it's because she's on my lap. So last time I talked to you, I was just over the 10,000 word mark, I think. And now I have just passed the 20,000 words and I am very behind <laughs> because I think we're supposed to be getting close to 40,000 and I'm at 20. <laughs> so I was hoping to catch up. I don't know if I will succeed in NaNoWriMo this year, but honestly, like, I don't know. I'm like, as a full-time author and creator of sorts and reading all of the books, like, I don't know how much it matters to me personally if I write 50K in a month when I've written and almost published three books in this year. <laughs> so like, that's more than most people would do. And like, if it takes me longer than a month because everyone else is doing it this month, I don't know that I'm upset about it, but like, it would be nice to do. I do think I would have needed to prep a little more, but like, who knows, maybe I will actually finish it. Right now, I'm just more preoccupied with other things. And like, that's one of the, like, one of my goals for next year is to really get good at managing my time because reading as many books as I am and also writing as many books as I am while also still trying to manage a house and giving all of our critters enough attention, like it just takes time and like trying to get a schedule in order that works and is consistently able to work is a struggle. Because like I can focus on like one or two of those tasks but trying to do all of them I struggle. Like, I can't manage to spend quality time with my cat and my dog and then also clean the entire house, take down, like, I just barely finished with Halloween <laughs> and still have a little bit more to work on while also wanting to decorate for solstice and wanting to, you know, just like regular clean. Like, the all of that's like its own project. And then, of course, reading all the time because on my witchy channel I'm trying to I've lessened my schedule a little bit and honestly it feels so much better I'm just doing Monday through Friday instead of every day of the week and so like that's helped a little bit <laughs> but like trying to fit in writing on top of all of that I just I need to get better and figure out a schedule that's going to work for me <laughs> because obviously it's not because I can do really good sometimes and then I inevitably fall off that wagon really fast. Because writing is really hard. <laughs> like, the book I'm working on right now, it is so not easy to work on. Because the whole time, every time I sit down to write, all I can think is like, is it gonna be good enough though? And that's hard, but it's even harder because I've read like well over a hundred books on the exact topic and like, Knowing the things that I like in certain books versus others, as a reviewer, it's easy to pinpoint. As an author, it's a lot harder to actually write it. <laughs> and like, I know that it's it's a hard thing to do. But like, it's one of those books that it's like, I want it to be as perfect as possible. And that is hard. It is really hard. And it also, like, I don't feel the pressure to write it as quickly because I know I have a year. <laughs> like this is not going to be publishing until about this time next year because I want to have all of the books in that series written before I start hitting publish but that also means I need to be writing and getting those done while also publishing other books simultaneously and like even when I sit down to write fiction those can be hard too like it's just writing's hard it's not an easy job <laughs> and so like right now I'm uh, it'll be close by the time I'm done with the section I'm on, because I'm doing it by month, because it's a witchcraft training book, so each month has its own different chapters within them, and I usually sit down to write a month at a time. And so this one, when I'm done with it, will be the halfway point of that book. And like, while it's great, and I'm excited for it, it's also, the camera might move, because she's decided that's a great spot to just go rub up against, because cats. Anyways, so this is just, it's one of those books that it's like, it's what well, I've tried to write it so many times and like I don't want to not do it right but at the same time I'm like when I'm done with it I feel great that I finally did it I sat down and it's wonderful but like 
the writing stage is super hard. So I don't know if I'm going to win NaNo this year. And like with Thanksgiving too this week, like that also kind of puts a damper on things. And being sick, this whole past week, I have been sick. And like, it's really hard to write when like every few words you're sneezing and coughing and you just feel like crap. It's easier to sit and read a book versus uh, trying to write. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at for this installment of writing updates. Hopefully next week will be better. I don't know yet, but fingers crossed it'll get better. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna buy my other books that I have written, they're always linked at my blog down below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. As per usual, I wouldn't forget to show you a sweet little office cat who has stolen my chair. But isn't she adorable? It's bath time for her. But she picks random spots of the room every time I'm in here. So isn't she adorable as she's actively ignoring us?